How do I draw a dragon? Well, you're in luck because dragons are one of those mythological creatures that do not exist. So there's been tons of different ways you can do dragons throughout history. Um, and no one can really say it's right or wrong because it's not an animal that exists. Like a unicorn is basically a horse with a, a <laughs> horn on it. So if you look at it, it doesn't look like a horse. You're like, ah, that isn't what a unicorn ought to look like. With a dragon, there's been tons of different ways. There's, it's not really based on a real animal at all. So for example, here's one of my favorite uh, dragon designs, Toothless. And this dragon was pretty much very different than any way a dragon had ever looked really in any other type of media before they made this movie, How to Train Your Dragon. I really like the design. He's got that really kind of flat, almost snake-like head, but then they've added almost the ears. His ears turn around like a cat. Um, he's like really cute, but also looks like a dragon. Um, you know, this one here, by the way, in the bottom left corner, that's his tail. So if you're looking for his head, it's right in between the wings. This one's kind of got armor all over it. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. But most of the time when you think about dragons, you're typically going to think about one of, one of two things. The first is the Chinese dragon, which uh, is basically like a big, long snake. It actually doesn't have any wings at all. A lot of times you'll see these dragons are bearded. They have like the long whiskers almost coming off of them like catfish. Um, they'll just kind of move through the air by slithering since they don't have wings. So that's kind of the first major type of dragon you'll see. And then the other most common type of dragon would be something like this, where it has this really huge, massive body, scales all over it, pointy spikes, huge wings, in addition to having, you know, the arms and the legs and everything like that. So lots of different ways you can do it. Um, we're going to figure out how I make my dragon right now. So first things first, I like to start my, I'm going to do this with pencil first, because I think this is going to be a little bit more detailed than the other drawings I've been doing this week. So the first thing I'm going to do even though you think of a dragon as like this kind of ferocious being, I like to draw mine with somewhat of a kind of softer tone about them. When I do the head here, I'm gonna do it almost like I do maybe a deer, a little bit actually like the horse that I did last time. And just like anything else, the shorter you make the snout, the cuter it's gonna be. So if you want it to look you know, younger or cuter, you might make the snout a little bit shorter. If you want it to look more mature or ferocious, you might make the snout a little bit longer. You notice I've got the same kind of curved part right here, like I did on the horse last time. That's kind of the jaw area. One thing I'm gonna do is definitely make sure to add kind of a curved line for the eye. And I'm gonna actually make the top of the head kind of mirror this line, meaning it's gonna work in the in the same direction, so they both go the same way. So maybe something like this. And I'm gonna kind of blend those two styles. I don't like to make dragons that are like really big in the body. I like them to be like longer and thinner, almost like a snake. But at the same time, I do like to give them wings. So I'm gonna work on that too. For the, I'm gonna add some horns up here at the top. And for these, I'm gonna do them almost the way I would do like deer antlers except for i'm not going to make them branch into a million different pieces but as far as the overall shape they're going to be kind of curvy and almost gentle i guess so maybe something like that okay i am going to do a little like kind of nostril on the front just like i did for my horse and my unicorn maybe something like that and let's see I'm probably gonna open the mouth and do some fire in a minute but first let's go ahead and sketch out the general shape for the rest of the body so I do want this to be kind of long and thin as opposed to being like one of those huge bulky ones so let's see maybe we'll pull this down Almost like if you imagine like a Loch Ness monster, it's kind of a super long snake. I like to do my dragons kind of like that. Now we're going to go back and add the wings and all that type of stuff, but one thing at a time. All right, I'll come back to the tail in a minute. I just wanted to kind of get my basic shape for the body. Probably should have drawn this whole thing lower down. That's okay. So let's see, for my wings, I like to do my wings almost like bat wings. So let me show you what I mean. If you look at a bat's wing, 
they're really weird because the bat's wing is actually its hand where each of those long pieces in between the flaps of the wing are a finger. So if you look at the top part where the little claw comes out, that's like the thumb. And then each of these long little pieces sticking out in between the flaps is one of the fingers of the bat. And so really a bat's wings are its arms. So unlike, let's say, this dragon right here that has wings and arms, um, I like to do mine more like a bat where the wings are the arms. So we're going to use this idea and let's see what we can do with this. So maybe coming out around here. And I'm actually going to try to do it almost in two separate parts. Again, if you look at the bat swings, you can see there's that really short bit. That's like the top part of the arm, like right here. And then you got the longer part of the arm, which goes up to the hand. Ooh, there we go. So maybe this will be that little short part of the arm right here. And we'll have that long part of the arm that goes kind of to the hand. And then this top little hook right here is going to be kind of my thumb almost and for the i guess we'll do three fingers on this one and we're going to make them huge really really long and probably not that thick either let's thin that out a little bit I want these to look kind of delicate And I guess this wing's going to be probably coming down a little bit in front of the rest of the body and the tail. That's fine. So how does something like that look? And again, it's weird to think about, but technically that would be, I guess, the hand. So let's see. Let's make this part a little bit shorter here. Kind of that little hook on the end. I guess that'd be the thumb. And I'm going to make this one stick out a little further down maybe like this just so the space in between them is pretty even okay getting erase marks all over the place there we go so if that's our basic shape for the wing then all we need to actually make kind of the flaps in between that catch the wind i don't know what that'd be called like the sails of the wing I guess I don't know but all I need to make that is like a curved line so I'll go ahead and add a little curve here between these two a little curve here between these two and then I'll make maybe a curve kind of going back up to this part of the arm where it connects to the body cool maybe something like that okay not bad so let's see what else we got. Maybe. All right, so maybe down here is where my leg would be. And I imagine when it's flying, it kind of tucks its leg back a little bit. So let's do maybe a leg. That's kind of that big part, the big muscular part, I guess. And we'll do. Maybe this is about where the knee is. Again, not a real animal, so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Maybe something like that. And we'll give it some little claws here. Okay, I'm all right with that. I feel like I might, I might need to make those wings stick out even longer. We'll see once we have the tail and everything else. I definitely feel like they probably should be bigger. All right. So let's get, speaking of the tail, let's have that kind of come down and around. I always envision dragons as having like really, really long tails, so. Maybe this comes all the way up here. I feel like I'm always telling everybody, draw big, draw big, draw big. 
I might be drawing a little too big for my own good right now. There's the tail coming down. All right, so one of the things I'm definitely going to want to do is add like the other little foot sticking out, add the other arm sticking out, or wing, I should say. So, I guess before we do that, yeah, I feel like these wings aren't big enough. The wings should be huge. So let's go back and really make this happen with the wings. That's what I'm talking about. Something like that. This is why I used a pencil for this one instead of a marker. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going for. This really is not so much how do I draw a thing, it's how do I design a thing. Because really I'm figuring out how I want it to look. As opposed to just trying to draw something I already know how it looks. Alright. So I definitely feel like I'm liking the wings better, bigger, like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is going to have to go here. Oh, yeah. I like that way better. Cool. All right. So I'm satisfied with that. So... For the part kind of on the stomach, let's do like a little patch of, I don't know what you call it, shell, scales, scales maybe, I don't know, but I'm going to do like big curving lines here, whatever you'd call these. Okay, and that probably is going to continue a little bit onto the tail as it wraps around, but I think we're at the point where we should probably start working for the other arm. So the other arm, let's see, probably have my other kind of horn sticking up like that. So let's get our other arm. Instead of just making it go immediately behind, I'm going to make it almost like it's at a different angle so we can see more of it. Maybe like this. We got the same hook right there. And I guess this would have the same kind of three fingers almost. Yeah, and that wing's going behind the front one. All right. I'm pretty okay with that. Cool, not bad. Let's get our other leg kind of sticking out a little bit from behind here. So I'm just going to draw the same basic shapes. Obviously going back to the other side of the tail behind it. And let's see, would we see that sticking out right there? Maybe, maybe just a little bit. That's the tail. Okay. Not bad. Let's get some details going on. Well, for one... I'm going to have this kind of patchy stomach part going on the tail too so it just kind of goes right through until the tail turns around so maybe about like that and i'll use those same repeating curved lines there we go and at the tip of the tail we're going to do some additional little wing type stuff I think that's the technical term, wing type stuff. So 
So just like I did on the wings, I'll do some curved lines in between these areas. I'm not sure I want those sticking out quite that much. Or should it just start like that? Should they have a little flap there at all? Maybe it's just like that. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so a couple of other things. We don't really have a mouth yet. Maybe we'll do some fire for the mouth. Yep, maybe we will. Maybe we will. First, ooh, I know. Let's add some little, little spiky guys here. Normally, and you'll see dragons that have like spiky shapes coming out kind of all over them. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty simple with mine, but we'll add a couple, kind of going down the back. And I think we're gonna see these coming. Kind of all the way down the back of the tail too. And maybe they'll get smaller as they go until they kind of disappear from the tail. I don't think they go all the way to the very end of the tail. And actually, if we wanted to give this a little bit more dimension, since I have the tail kind of twisting around here, what I could do is I'll draw these little spikes going to this line, and then I'll have the other part of the tail going behind. Hopefully you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So getting smaller and smaller here. And then this side of the tail is going to come. Behind those little spikes. So that we can see they're almost like wrapping around as they go. Okay. And we'll do one more teeny tiny one back here. All right, and I feel like if the spikes are already gone, the tail should be a little thinner by this part. So let's make this whole thing a little thinner. Again, why well, use a pencil for this one so I could erase? I wasn't quite sure what I was going for. Okay, I think the tail looks pretty decent. Actually, I think the whole thing looks pretty good. Let's just add some, uh, maybe some fire. We'll do a more of an open mouth shape here. And anytime you're trying to draw fire, what we're looking for for fire is basically curved lines that make points at the top. As long as you're doing that type of thing and you color it with, you know, yellows and oranges, you'll get some sort of fiery thing. Typically it'd be round on the bottom, pointing at the top. Now, since he's kind of shooting it out, I'm going to turn my paper and we'll do Be something like this. And you know, a lot of times you'll see another little piece drawn inside. I'm gonna skip that for now because normally you do like different colors for the inner piece and outer piece. If I color this one, I'm probably gonna like fade my colors together. So I'll just leave my fire like that for now. All right. I mean, there it is, not too bad. 
I'm going to ink it up, try to clean up some of my smudges from my charcoal, but for the most part, there's my dragon. Not too bad. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to ink it up, and we'll see what it looks like. Anyway, again, you can make yours absolutely any way you want to. There's no rules because it's not a real animal. It's a mythological animal, so you make yours look like whatever you want. See what you can come up with. Yeah, have fun. See you next time. Be safe, all that good stuff. Later.